Welcome back to Exit 45 Restorations. And uh, you guys remember that crazy speedometer that uh, uh, I came out of the uh, dashboard when, when I tore that apart? Uh, well, that's what we're doing today. We got to get that thing up and running and ready to go back in, all right? So uh, let's get at it and get it done. So what we're trying to do here is we're trying to get this uh, face off here. Just uh, looks like some screwdrivers, or screws rather, not screwdrivers. Uh, should, should pull that off. All right, last screws out. There we go. Ooh, it's dirty in there. Well, he's gonna go ahead and work on cleaning that and then uh, we'll figure out how we want to work this and the drum. Okay, so looks like our numbers have cleaned up a lot. They were like black. And he found the magic uh, tool, which is Windex. Cleaned it, cleaned it up pretty good. All right, so we want to try and get in here and clean a little better and, and see what we want to do with this drum. So we've unscrewed it from the back and see we can't get this whole assembly here to come out. There we go. All right, so now we can get in here and we can get this good and cleaned up. And we can get to this drum better. There's just uh, one, two, and then three. There was just three screws holding that together. So now this can all be cleaned up in here, so that's good. I was hope wondering how I was gonna get to all that, but. Okay, here we are again, as you can see. See, we pulled the odometer off of here. This was just bolted right to here. All right, so we're gonna set that aside. My vote says we don't pull it apart anymore. <laughs> we just deal with it like it is. Going through this, trying to verify that everything's working in, in, uh, in this area right here. And we're doing okay here. Our gears are all matching up throughout here, so you got a, you got a sprocket here, you got a worm gear here, um, and then another gear that runs, you know, this way. So I don't know if you can kind of see in there, but they're not turning. I think the uh, odometer is, it's, it's really getting hard, it's hard to move. All right, so let's just take this out of here. Okay, you can see here the worm gear and then the other gear that goes down here now that i got this separate from this let's test okay so this is not spinning that's my problem i think i think everything else in here yep see that gear is working so if you look down in here, if you can see, there's a gear right here that meshes up with that one. Well, it just fell out of place, but anyway, that gear is working, it's doing its job. And when I try to spin this gear here, it won't spin. So that tells me my odometer is froze have any clue what to do in this so it's just going to be a trial and error kind of thing this thing was so heavily soiled uh, and you can see it on the back side here it's 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 so heavily soiled it's very dirty i think it could be just dirt okay so i mean i'm getting the the white one the tenth of the mile i'm getting that one to, to move but it's really hard to move and the numbers are coming off. <laughs> it's just, I told you. All right, let me be a little cleaner in, the, in here and see if I can't get this to loosen up. Just work the gear and try not to touch those numbers. So I think you can see that it's starting to turn a little easier. 
this has to turn a lot easier for all those other little gears to work because those are just not going to be able to put that much pressure to this. Well, I'm just going to keep playing with this and see what we can do, all right? I'll let you, uh, I'll let you back in and once I figure out what's going on. All right, so let's bring you back in here. So I've been cleaning and turning and cleaning and turning a lot. Uh, just uh, Windex seems to be the easiest on the markings and all that, but uh, it got the goop out of there. So you can see there you go. You can see it's working. Um, so. You know, I can turn it much easier now. So, there we go. I won't know on the rest of these how easy they turn. I mean, I've really been cleaning, and but I, I don't. I take me forever to get this to get where they all turn. So I don't know. Maybe I get a hundred miles on it, and it doesn't work. <laughs> After that, I don't. I don't. Honestly, I don't know. They feel. Now they're not they're not tight like they were. So if I, I go in and I can move them now, I couldn't do that before. They're all they're all loose now. So that's my hope is that they're cleaned up now and that this will function like it's supposed to. So far, it feels like it is. All right, all right. So that's that. And then on this, you can probably see if you look at it now this is uh cleaned up i got all the uh surface of that cleaned all this is functioning a little bit better now Going to go ahead and I've got the uh, cable hooked up to my drill. So I want to test all the functioning of everything before I before I kind of walk away from this and, and figure out what I'm going to do there. So let's uh, let's just see how it goes. All right, so we got the barrel functioning. And yep, so you can see the tenth of a mile is moving. Faster, slower. But that is functioning. So I want to I want to make sure that we move the mile moves when we come back around. Huh. Didn't seem to quite bring the the mile with it, did it? All right, so we're at the six. We need to see if it'll bring the seven over. All right, so it's having some problems. Yep, that gear's not bringing it over. I think it's just these gears are plastic. They're not very strong, and so if this doesn't turn easy enough, then they're just gonna skip teeth. And that's what this is doing, it's skipping the teeth. Yeah, I don't know if you can see the gear jumping in there. I have been running it and spraying some Windex in there and Continuing to just clean this thing. Okay, it grabbed the seven. And I guess it grabbed the eight too. <laughs> well, now it's gonna grab the nine. <laughs> and now it wouldn't grab them, now it's grabbing them all. Okay, so. 
you know, you guys saw while I was running the, uh, the drill to make all this turn that it wasn't working correctly. And so my dad came over today and he's uh, working on cleaning this and boop, there you go. Clean the numbers right off. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we're just not going to have an odometer that works. I'm not really going to worry about that too much. Um, I, I just, it doesn't bother me to have that not working. Um, but I do want to get this taken care of. So we're going to sand this and try to get any little flaking off of this and clean it up. And I think I'm going to go ahead and try and paint this and see if I can't take care of this just by painting it. So we'll see. We got the uh, odometer back in and it'll just be blank. I can tell anybody I want how many miles are on it because it that's blank. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to make a tape line here so that we have something to give us a nice clean line. And then I will also make a line along the angle to do the same thing and then we can go ahead and paint the red and we're going to leave the drum just like it is uh, I checked it it looks pretty good in in the window and I think we're going to leave it just like that so we're just going to recoat this red and I think what we're going to do is take this paint here and we're going to just mix a little bit of the orange into the uh, red see what that looks like see if that gets us closer to the original color if not it'll be fine it just needs to show up in the window. So that's what we're gonna do. That's how we're gonna handle this. I think that's gonna just be the easiest way. All right, let me get that taped off and then uh, we'll start getting some paint on it. All right, so we got this drum completely stripped down and we repainted it. And it looks like it's working good. So uh, it really wasn't that easy to get that thing stripped down and repainted, but it did it. So, and that looks like it's working good. And, you know, get some backlight on there and, uh, you know, get the surrounding all around this. No, you're not, we're getting a lot of glare and stuff. Uh, you guys tell me what you think. Uh, you should see this before. Hopefully before, uh, you know, the dash goes in, so it would be easy to, you know, if I had to make, you guys don't think it's going to work good. I don't know. I mean, I like it. I think the silver may be a little too much. I just left the, the uh, drum, you know, natural metal. I didn't uh, do anything to it. I guess it could be painted to dull it down a little bit. But I think it's going to work good. I mean, it seems to... It seems to do the same thing it did before. It was a little bit more reflective, you know, the the decal that was on there than the this paint is, but uh, I I think you can see it just fine in there. Once that light's back there, the backlight and all that, so I think it'll be all right. All right, well, let's press forward. Well, I decided to put the surroundings on it, and let's just see what it looks like in its, you know, natural habitat. So, I think it's going to work just fine. Look at that. I think it shows up great. Right here, even in the shadows. I think it shows up great. Okay, I think I'm going to be just fine with that. But I thought I'd show you uh, what it looked like, you know, putting it all together and isolating it down to just that bar you know it's when you got all that other stuff you know it's hard to really see how it's working and i uh i think it's working great okay i think that's going to be a wrap on the speedometer all right guys we're going to call this one a, a wrap i'm tripping over everything uh but we're gonna we're gonna end this one here the sp speedometer works great the odometer a toast can't get it to work uh we tried everything we could we went to a stronger cleaning source and it's well the numbers are gone now <laughs> so, uh, I will do without an odometer I don't need one um, I, you know it's just not that big a deal but uh, this is how it goes uh, there are some things that you know I'm just going to learn to live with uh, that I'm okay with 
Uh, there are just, I think you guys are starting to get the understanding of that I'm working very hard to, you know, make this car look really, really nice. But I'm just trying to bring some of that old with it. And so these are just opportunities to me to say, just bring that with. Let's not worry about, you know, going through all that trouble of trying to, you know, make it better. Yeah, I could go buy another assembly there and pick it apart and make everything, you know, work just fine. But I kind of like the story. I kind of like bringing a little bit of that with, and that's what I'm going to do. Uh, but, you know, we got it done. We got it working. Everything looks really good. I think I'm going to be really happy with what I got. And uh, so I think let's move on to the next video. Thanks, guys, for watching. I'll see you on the next one.